Okay, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into my channel, welcome. This video is geared towards someone that is probably new, that has not used Nina before, maybe thinking about using Nina, and is wondering how can you tie in a planetarium package into Nina. Uh, very easy to do. What I have here is uh, I have Nina open, and uh, I'm on the options for the telescope. And you see down here, there's an area called planetarium. So let me uh, kill the camera for a minute. Okay. And uh, there's several packages that can interface uh, nicely with uh, Nina. Uh, Carts to Seal and Stellarium are the two I'm using. And um, I don't know if you saw my B-Link U59 astro imaging camera build project update video I released yesterday, long name. Uh, in that video, I said, oh, I'm not going to load a planetarium software package because I am a Sky Atlas user. Well, you know, I'm still a beginner. There's much I don't know. Because uh, today I went into uh, the Sky Atlas and I tried to find Vega. And lo and behold, nothing there. So, okay, I said, okay, let me load Stellarium. And so let me show you what you need to do in Stellarium. It's uh, straightforward. We'll come down here. I'll expand it. Um, we'll go into the F2 uh, panel, which will bring up configuration. There's a section called plugins. If you um, look down the list, you'll see remote control. And I don't know how this text is showing up in the video on your screen, but down in this corner here under options, there is a box that you check to say load at startup. And then you go into configure. And then there's two more boxes up here. One is service server enabled. You want to check that. And then enable automatically on startup. And uh, save the settings. And you're good to go. And we will just uh, we will just restart Stellarium. Okay, and we will bring this down a little bit. And I'll just advance the time to the night time. Not sure it really matters, but you do probably want the coordinates for uh, at night. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do here now is I'm just going to come over to Options Equipment, and I'm going to change this to Solarium. Tell Nina to use that package. And then again, I'm going to go over to Stellarium, and I'm going to use the search window. I'm going to select Vega. And uh, we now see uh, the coordinates, uh, the RA deck uh, with the J2000 time, 183658 So I'm going to come over here into the framing assistant, and the object I'm interested in is Vega. And then up here is an icon that says get coordinates from the planetarium. So I uh, select that and it loads the coordinates and we can compare the coordinates 183658, 183658, 384704. So now you've got the uh, coordinates. Now in the meantime, since I have internet connectivity, uh, NASA Sky Survey is going to uh, do its thing. Now I expected that a pop-up would uh, happen here so let's give it a second to see what uh, what actually shows up so you know in the course of uh, about 18 hours I found out I didn't know what I was talking about yesterday when I said there was no need to for me to load uh, a planetarium uh, package um, you know I learned something new so now we have okay success coordinates acquired from Stellarium and we have a image loaded through NASA Sky Survey for uh, Vega. So very easy to do. Um, if you're going in this direction, hopefully this tip will be helpful. 
Okay, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, appreciate you dropping into the channel. Uh, other than that, clear skies, and see you next time. Oh, it's supposed to fit.